another super deluxe. Here's one I picked up during the week. Just arrived uh, yesterday. Had to sell my Mercedes Benz to buy it, but I have more interest in these cars these days than the Mercs anyway. As you can see, it's a race car. Battery's charging at the moment. No driver's seat, so I couldn't really take this one for a quick spin to see what it's like. We can see some spares already. Uh, two diff centers, a turbo manifold, which I'm not going to use, not really into turbos. Let's see. RX2 instrument cluster. Auto Technica steering wheel. Dash uh, instruments and fire extinguishers. Of course, it's got a roll cage being a track car. Eight points. Uh, what else? We got harnesses by uh, Seabelt or Seabelt, depends what country you're from. Uh, engine bay strut tower brace. Let's see. This is where the fun starts. This cold air box here is so big. There's a hole in the bonnet, so I'll be replacing that with a regular K&N style air filter and a, if I can find one, another RX2 Series 1 bonnet. Uh, missing trims and stuff, but that can all be dealt with. We've got a big air dam spoiler on the front. Performance Challenger wheels. I thought from the pictures these were 15s, but they're actually 14s, so I'll um, have to make a decision uh, whether to stick with 14s or go to 15s. 15s give me some more options when it comes to to um, tyres, an enormous mirror, wiper blades are typical, missing the watering thing so it's gonna, gonna have to do a bit about that. Uh, let's see, it's an early one, so we've got early style badges, Mazda RX2, Door trims are reasonable. Interior is actually, although it's stripped out, it's been quite well done. The paint and everything is good. Okay, so there's its uh, compliance plate. It is an S122A, as you would expect 13B Bridgie uh, series 4 or 5 motor by the looks of it it's a good clean aluminium radiator coca-cola bottle for the oil catch can yep there it is the green paint works actually in not, not too bad. Yeah. Haven't quite worked out what this hole here is for, but anyway, it's it's there. So once that battery's charged, hopefully this thing will fire right up. There's our harnesses. boot I need to sort out because it won't stay up so it's probably those rods underneath they're not set up properly. See so we've got all sorts of spares. You can see there some tail lights, a steering box, another sump. There's our two fuel pumps, instruments again. 
trims, trims and more trims, glove box, yeah, looks like a console part, another sump, um, yeah. hoses and things, so yeah, so the boot alignment's out a bit, I'll sort it out. The rear bar is the wrong one, it's clearly from a 74 Series 3 or 4 uh, RX2, so I'll change that at some point. Tires on it actually look pretty good for road tires. The car came from Tasmania, so it's got a sticker for the Northwest Car Club. Engine made in Melbourne by SM. They don't give you these stickers unless you buy a, an engine from them. This door is the most problematic one. The driver door doesn't align and has some something in the way of damage to it. The whole thing moves around. Which probably explains why it came with a spare door. There it is there. So <clears throat> I think we're looking at a a project that should be a bit of fun but not much not as much of a hell of work as this one is gonna take. This one should be running it on the track sometime in January or we'll going to plan. I'll come back in a moment after this thing starts. Okay, so this is the next day. Went to start it yesterday and the battery was completely flat, so it's been charged overnight. Emptied out the boot, which doesn't look too bad. There's our pumps and surge tank. Okay, let's see if this thing's going to start now. Power and two fuel pumps. Put them on. Yep, the pressure reading. Alright. Accelerator, a little tap. See what we get. 